remotely. <laughs> Pretty much halfway there already. Right, yeah. sports guest, please. Uh, so we are heading this morning into the mountains of Wales, which in fact is exactly what I'm doing this weekend at the original mountain marathon. Now, why are more and more of us choosing to go running in places like the Highlands or the Breckens. Our sports guest this morning is the star of the excellent Wild Ginger Running Channel. Good morning, Claire Maxted. Hello, Vassar. Great to be here. Well, thank you very much for joining us. So, Claire, this is the sort of thing you do as well. Um, and the question is, why? Well, I think everything's just got a little bit safe, which is a good thing. We all like to be safe in our homes. But everyone's got into this routine of maybe going to the office, sitting down all day, and then maybe running, um, doing some exercise in the gym or running on the road. And so getting into the mountains just means that everything is just taken up that a little bit of a notch higher. So you've got more exciting terrain, you've got more adventurous weather, and you've got those absolutely stunning, beautiful mountain views as well. So it's a little bit less safe, a bit more exciting. Do you think sometimes life is just too comfortable and we just need to get outside of our comfort zone yes definitely i think that um both mental and physical health can be really very much improved by going outside rather than just staying inside all the time there's just something about fresh air breathing in that fresh air feeling your heart beat faster getting a bit out of breath that just really makes you feel alive again so tell us what's uh, it's known as the arm isn't it the original mountain marathon tell us about this Yes, so this is the ultimate test of people's abilities in the mountains. So it's not like any marathon that you would have come across before. So it's not like the London Marathon. It's held in the mountains and you basically, it's like a treasure hunt. You've got to navigate yourself, carrying all your kit for two days in the mountains to these control points in the mountains. They're like little flags, they're orange and white, and they're, they're really hard to spot, actually, if you're not in the right place. You've got to navigate to those within a certain time frame or complete a certain course. And then you've got to get into the tiniest possible lightweight tent with your partner and spoon for a whole night while you try and keep warm with all this lightweight kit. And then you've got to do it all the next day. Yeah, I, I honestly, I know it sounds it sounds tough, but I honestly, I cannot wait. I really cannot wait. Are you doing wait. that this weekend? I'm doing it this weekend. It's in the Brecon Beacons, and there's 3,000 people at the 51st um, original Mountain Marathon. And good luck, everybody. I will see you there. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Claire. Thanks, Chris Scott.